Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your buddy, your pal, London Hawthorne, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a huge, ridiculously huge movie fan. Um, I love talking about movies. I love going to movies more, but uh, I love talking about movies almost as much as I love watching them. Uh, so, yesterday I was driving by, after going to the gym and going to eat, um, I was driving by our Dollar Theater, and I looked on the marquee to see if there's anything playing, and I saw Home Alone. And I'm like, what? So I get my smartphone and I see that my dollar theater is playing Home Alone at 1 o'clock. And I'm like, this is going to happen. I haven't seen Home Alone in years, but I mean, I've seen it a hundred times easily. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies growing up. It came out in 1990, so I was like four years old. And, you know, it's a classic, classic movie. So chances are you've seen the movie. But I'm reviewing it because, you know, I saw it. And it's been forever since I've seen it. So it was cool seeing a lot of moments, like reliving moments that, uh, you know, that I, I, I remembered and being afraid of, like the basement thing and the South Bend Shovel Slayer, that kind of jazz. Um, you know... Growing up, I live in South Bend, Indiana, so hearing South Bend Shovel Slayer was, like, terrifying. You know, I'm like, wow, my city is in a movie, a huge movie, like Home Alone. But I'm like, is this guy for real? What's up with that? And uh, the scary little, uh, you know, furnace in the, the basement, that was terrifying as a little kid. So basically, if you're not familiar with Home Alone, what's up with that? Uh, basically, um, it's the night before the McAllisters are going off to Gay Paris, uh, as a big family Christmas vacation. And so they decide that, um, you know, it's, it's hectic. They're trying to get everything situated together. And little eight-year-old Kevin McAllister is feeling like the, the odd man out. Uh, you know, he's got four older siblings that are considerably older than him. And he's got cousins out the wazoo. Um, and then he's got an uncle who's taken up some time too. So he's definitely feeling left out. Um, he doesn't get his favorite cheese pizza. Uh, it's all he asked for really. And, um, you know, he's definitely a snippy little guy. Uh, and he, there's some things happen with one of his older brothers, Buzz, and hilarity ensues. And it kind of leads to a big epic temper tantrum. And he's sent upstairs. So at the same time, uh, this, you know, supposed security officer, uh, police officer comes in and they're talking. And at the same time, he goes upstairs and he wishes, uh, after having a discussion with his mother, that he wishes they weren't alive. Or not alive, but they weren't, they weren't part of his family anymore. And so they kind of go to bed upset. At the same time, the 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 mother uh, kind of relays the message to the officer about about how they're going to Paris, and you kind of get a little sketchy feeling from this guy. Well, anyway, cut to the next morning. Uh, the power had a little thing, a little surge-ish, and the alarms went off. They're running late. Everything is hectic as all heck, and they do a miscount on how many people are there. Uh, and <clears throat> they leave America without Kevin, little Kevin. And so Kevin wakes up from the third floor by himself, and he's like, I made my parents disappear. I made my family disappear. And we, we see a, a pretty cool montage of what would you do as a kid. Uh, what, you know, this is a, like an amazing question. Uh, amazing statement, you know, logic, what would a little eight-year-old kid do if he had free reign of the house, potentially of the world, um, if he was alone, home alone. At the same time, we start to realize that the guy who was the police officer isn't a police officer at all, he's a burglar, and he's got a little inept partner who together they burglarize house after house after house. They want this house, the McAllister household. They realize maybe they're not there. And this could be the most epic burglarization of their entire careers. So Kevin is a naive little eight-year-old boy who's at the same time smarter than he looks. 
And he decides, when he realizes that these burglars are going to invade his house, he's got to defend the territory. Uh, it's a movie, you know, it's it's a little far-fetched here and there, obviously. Eight-year-old kid doing all these crazy, crazy things. Uh, no, so knowledgeable on how to defend his house. But at the same time, you know, you got to suspend some belief. Uh, it is a, an earnest film, and there's a ton, ton of heart in this movie. Uh, John Candy is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, you know, a lot of people say I look like him. I'll take that. If you don't, it's fine. Whatever. But, you know, when you see him in his scene towards the end of the movie, uh, in the airport, it's just incredible. It made a little tear come to my eye. Uh, I thought he was just incredible. But Catherine O'Hara uh, plays Kevin's mother. <coughs> Excuse me. And she is just phenomenal. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think of the dad's name. John Hurd is really good. They do a they're a really good team together. Um, the whole movie is just solid as hell. Like it's just a fun, great classic. I want to say 80s, but it's a 90 1990 movie, and it just holds up, man. It is a fun family film, and I really enjoy it. Uh, it's funny seeing these lines from movies, you know, and. Being a little kid saying them and be like, is someone looking at, you know, like, horse's ass and stuff like that. Um, it, it's just a really good movie. Fun, action-packed, and it's hilarious. Um, you get the Southman Shovel Slayer, you get to really appreciate that character. John, I want to say something is his name, but I could be wrong. Um, Home Alone 2 is one, probably, I, growing up, that, that was my second, that was my favorite one. Because it was just so in your face and... More slapstick humor. There's definitely Three Stooges galore in these movies. And it's not a bad thing. It's funny. Um, there's tons of quotable moments in these movies. This is awesome. Next week, my movie theater, Dollar Theater, is playing Christmas Vacation, which is my favorite Christmas movie ever. The next week, they're playing Scrooge, which I think I've seen part of it. So I'm excited. Hopefully, if the weather holds up, I'm going to try and see all, all those movies. Um, yeah, I want to say thanks to everyone who watches my movie reviews. I do tons of these. Not enough, but tons. I don't know if that makes sense. So I got some other reviews that are coming up. I'm gonna, they're kind of backdated. Um, been a crazy, crazy couple months. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you check them out. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could help me out and refresh this video and click on any ads or commercials that are in my videos, it would really help me out. Help me pay for the movie tickets. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and maybe Home Alone 2 will be up next. Never know. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.